three months. And you've been an employee for how long? Ooh, close to almost a year. It's been kind of hard to get everything. This is unacceptable. Yeah, I know. I hope you didn't come here looking for sympathy. Oh, no, 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 no. Heck no. You're, do you have both your limbs? Yes, sir. Then why don't you have a job? Because I, all right, so long story short. I used to be I don't, no, no long story. Dude, you're 29 years old saying I'm a freight broker and I've invested. No, I'm 27. Yeah. 27, whatever. You've used words like invest in business. You're unemployed living off your girlfriend. How much are you earning a month? Ooh, shit. Uh, about under a thousand. Depending on how then don't tell me a damn thing about stock options. N you need a job. Get off YouTube. Get off Instagram. Get off TikTok. Get off your ass and go to f to work. Yes, sir. Go and buy trike. Here we go. Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube family? This is Richie Rich Abroad. It's your boy, Richie Rich, coming to you with yet another video. The content of today's video comes straight from The Godfather. You know it's true. But this time, we're bringing to you a series of clips from The Godfather. If you thought The Godfather only regulated when it came to women, you're about to see you was wrong. You were very wrong. But look, before we get it started, make sure you hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification button so you'll see the next video as soon as it pops off. Without any further ado, let's get it cracking. I still want to like do more stuff and go back to school. Where's your they father? He, um, he's in the medical field. He's How's your mother and your father? Yeah, I was raised with both of them. You don't involve your father in your romantic life? I try to, but he's so like, um, he's more high demanding than me. Like Exactly, you know? because he knows what's out here. You need to listen to him instead of Ooh. guys you don't know on Instagram. Ooh, okay. You don't know me. I don't, but I see you I like it. You have a father. Listen to your father. Do you think he loves you? Yeah. Did he Did he put a roof over your head? Yes. Food in your stomach? Yes. Make sure you got out of high school, right? Yep. You got any babies? Nope. Good. He sounded like he did his damn job. Respect him. <laughs> Stop worrying about how about you, man. Go get a regular guy like your dad. Sound like that's what you need. So I can do this job. Mm -hmm. uh, that simple that simple get yourself a regular dude your father did a good job another regular dude can do just as good of a job period shout out to this girl's father who obviously did an incredible job raising her and setting her on the right path he knows what's out there in the streets next clip how old are you? 31. And your, your ex-husband did what? He's a doctor. He's a psychiatrist. And how long ago were you married? Up until three years ago. Uh, how much older was your husband than you? <sighs> we'll say 35 years. So he's 53? Currently, yes. Why'd y'all divorce? My husband got sick with cancer, and that changed him, and it changed the dynamics of our marriage. Is he in remission? Yes, he is. And who filed for divorce? I did. Why? He became mentally, emotionally, and financially abusive. He took care of you just fine up until he got sick. Correct. And then when he was fighting for his life, you became a snowflake. Did you have to work when you were married? No, but I no, chose you didn't have to. to you, no, no, no. You chose, but you didn't pay no real bills. You didn't have no skills. Knock it off. I'm going to be honest, ma'am. This is a whole mess. Though even the way you're talking, it just sounds like, ugh. And how tall are you? I'm 5'4". How much do you weigh? 180. Goodbye. In sickness and in health, for ri isn't that how it goes? Right. Apparently not for her. <laughs> Apparently not for her. My man got cancer and she was like, deuces, right? I'm out. Look, fellas, very carefully because that can happen to any one of us. Any one of us. Next clip. So what do you, I don't care about what you want. What do you need? What do I need? I need I need a man to bring stability in my life. Um, I need a man to profess, protect, and provide. Yes. This <laughs> is the Miss America book, because that's the Miss America goddamn answer. World <laughs> peace and feed the kids. Profess, protect, and provide. <laughs> now, you need somebody no, to check you. No, but the thing is, ma'am, do you know what you need? 
Yes. Because I, I'm going to just go out on a limb. I'm going to go out on a limb here. You've had plenty of men throw money at you, throw all kinds of stuff, and you've had all that, and you still ain't had me. You're right. Stability. Stability meaning what? Um, I just need a man who's consistently himself, not just like, so my past two relationships is like they go hard and then no, once they got me, they fall off. Of course. So I just need a man to be consistent. I'm well, consistent. why do you think, why do you think that is? Because they they look at me through Instagram and they think this one thing like, oh, IG model. But what they do not know is that I'm corporate and I'm very humble. So once they find out like, oh, this girl is really just an everyday girl. It's usually, it's usually like, because of the kid. Oh, no. He he had four kids. That don't matter with us. Yeah. What, what the, wait, wait, wait. Let me back up. <laughs> You're a whole mess. You see, <laughs> I'm letting this play because I'm letting this play because you, you've been honest with ma'am. Look, women with pretty privilege, I have really little to no sympathy for women like that because you, you have more opportunities than most women and you mismanage them. You're right. I mean, could you date an average man, an average man, an average black man making $40,000 a year? Honestly. Um, honestly, come on, no. I expect a man to make as much as I do or more. What is, and how much, and what, what range are we talking about? Uh, six figures. And that can go from... Hundred thousand over, uh, over. He has to make at least over one hundred forty thousand. I know, but that's a, I, that, that's what I'm bringing to the table. I'm only I'm asking what to bring to the table. Yeah, but what you bring to the table is old and used. I mean, due respect. I mean, I talked to. The, I talk. Look, what you bring to the table is two fourteen year olds and a bunch of hard miles. What if, I we take thought, your, if we take your money away, is what you bring to the table. What basically what I've been coming up with this past year is I make good money and I started my own business. Can you don't care about I, that shit. Well, can well yeah. Can I meet a man who make less than I do, but who is loyal? Who can who can give me everything I want, but he makes less than me. I'm Let me tell you to. something. The, the men that you the men that you need make less than you, and you probably need to deal with one of them because they can give you something that you lack: humility. Mm -hmm. That's what solid. I, I think of my friend in Philadelphia, and he's the kind of man you would actually need, but you would bypass him because he didn't go to college. He's probably smarter than most of the guys that you know. Oh, no, the okay. yep. yeah, but, but they don't but, but, if, but if they don't make that kind of money see you're in a trick bag mm -hmm. you got two kids early on and your standard is extremely high you've had men with money and rappers and all this other kind of stuff but the problem is do you really bring that kind of value because if you did you should be able to maintain you can acquire men left and right but can you keep a quality man no, you know why? Because when I had a quality man, I was like, oh, my God, this guy is so boring. He want me in at a certain time. He doesn't want me at a guy's VIP. So I was like, you know what? It's over. But guess what? If I can go back and take that man back, I'll take him back. He was right. I how, how long ago was this? This was three years ago. I shouldn't be in no man's VIP. Nope. There's things I shouldn't wear. So I'll take him back if I but, could. But did, but, but did you really not know that? I didn't want to hear it. I wanted to do me. Exactly. So let me see. I'm in my I'm in my mid to late thirties. I got two kids now. I'm still cute. I'm still good looking. But I got two kids now, and I make a lot of money. But I want a man who makes a lot more money than me. You think your value is higher than it is, but it ain't. With two kids and you're in your mid to late thirties, you, your value is substantially lower than than what you. Your value is substantially lower than what you think it is. You don't have to drop down a little bit, baby. You just can't command what you think you deserve. It's just that simple. Next. 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 5'10". 5'10", dress size? I'm a dress size 8. Okay. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 175. All right. And if you had to rank yourself on a scale from one to ten, fresh face, out of the shower, your natural hair, you can't use seven. What would you give yourself? I can't use seven. 
I give myself a solid 9.8. No, man. No. 510. 175 pounds. There ain't no 175 pound tens. Period. There ain't no 175 pound 9.8s. Baby, come on, baby. Come on, come on back down. Come on back to earth. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Hmm. In LA? Mm hmm. Uh, you must mean Los Alamos, not Los Angeles. Los Alamos? Do you know where I am? <laughs> yeah, not in reality. If you give yourself almost a 10 in L.A. Why? Because of reality? Me, why would you not give me a 10 or at least a 9? Because you're not that cute. You're not that okay. cute. I mean, you're 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 probably a solid five six. I, I'll give her better than that, Kevin. I, I mean, I'm looking at her. She's a, she is a cute girl in my mind. I, I would give her a six five or seven. But how, where is she coming up with the nine? Where is she where is she coming up with the nine point eight in Los Angeles, where you are surrounded by beauty? How are you come up? With, how are you coming up with Beyonce numbers, with with supermodel numbers, with Miss Universe numbers? Baby, come on, man. Come, come, come on back to earth. Come on back now. Damn, you just dragged me. Stop dragging you, man. Okay. If you're that, if you're that, if you are an LA nine and a half or better, mm -hmm. you would not be here talking about you want a man like that. You'd have them lined up. I do have them lined up. Not but the they fuck. They all got something wrong. Yeah. Like they all have something wrong. Like right. they got kids. So you got up. Uh huh. So you got they all got, these. So you got all these. Thirty. No. You're not, okay. You're not, you're not a nine. You're not. A, you're not almost a ten, man. I would give you a, a between five and a six. You're average to cute. Mm -hmm. That's not an insult. But you're not. You're not up there with Kelly, Roland, Beyonce, and Rihanna. That's not what it is. There ain't no. 175 pound tens. Period. Nowhere on this planet is there a 10 that weighs 175 pounds. Delusional. Okay. I mean, so are, are, is that what you, is that what they, I want to say? I want to I want to be honest. Let's say at their at the at, at their and how do you again 26? Mm-hmm. So if I put the 26-year-old Kelly Rowland, 26-year-old Beyonce, 26-year-old Rihanna, and 26-year-old you, they'd say all these women are in the same range. Mm -hmm. They'd say you all look in the same range. I they mean, they your, all have they on put, makeup. They, they no, have no, their no, hair no, done. They, they, have, you, no, no, they no, have nails. No, no, all I said that. fresh face out of the shower. They'd put you on Cosmopolitan and Glamour and all that other stuff too, right? I mean, they're not on the same. They're not doing that. Ma'am, I'm just asking. Have you been in a, do you model professionally? Not professionally, no. Have I'm you ever been on the, have you ever been approached to be on the cover Ford models? Have you ever had anybody approach you to be on the cover of a national publication for women's beauty? I have been offered to be a model, but I did. I know. I got a specific question. On the cover of a magazine dedicated for men's and women's beauty. Wow. So, Okay. Only fans in Pornhub don't count. <laughs> Ma'am, no, ma okay, see, the first thing I'm trying to get you to understand, mm -hmm. you call yourself Barbie. You came in and said you want a man no, that's who... Fine. Okay, well, that's, that's what it is. Well, mm -hmm. But here's the thing. You came in saying, I want a, I want a man who's $400,000 or more. I didn't say that's what I wanted. I'm saying... Well, that's, that's what the outcome... That's the outcomes you want. Okay. I'm willing to move. You didn't even ask that. You go. How about move your standard? Because you're not there. Because here's the reality, ma'am. You're in the most one of the most aggressive places for beauty. Mm -hmm. So, are you saying you're more attractive than Sweetie? No, she's she's bomb. I love Sweetie. She's a six and a, she's an adjustable six. She's Why would you nine. say a six? Sweetie is. I said an adjustable six. 
See, this is the problem. You ladies don't know how to rank yourselves. You're average to possibly cute. I mean, let, let's just keep on moving. Let's keep on moving. You're just not where you think you are. I mean, okay. you, you, you're not there. You're not up there with those women. You stand mm -hmm. in the regular line to get in with the regular people. They get in VIP and get bottle service. And that's what it is. It's like, I, I don't understand. What, if you say you're a 10, you're saying that you look like Miss USA, Miss Universe. You're just saying what you think you are. And that's what's wrong with so many women today is they think they're way, way, way above where they are and that's why their standards are so ridiculously delusional as you think you look better than you really do next clip i'm unemployed uh just started business and the only one i got behind me is my girlfriend and i don't uh, want to like hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on you invested yeah. all your money into starting this business basically yeah i used and to uh be a and you're unemployed driver. and you're unemployed yes sir I kind of um, sacrificed everything to get one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, my bad. How long have you been doing this business? I just started. And how, what does that mean? What does that mean? Three months. Three months. And ago. you've been unemployed for how long? Ooh, close to almost a year. It's been kind of hard to get everything together. Huh? A year? What city do you live in? Uh, I moved from Birmingham, Alabama to uh, Houston, Texas. This is unacceptable. Yeah, I know. I hope you didn't come here looking for sympathy. Oh, no, 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 no. Heck no. You're, do you have both your limbs? Yes, sir. Then why don't you have a job? Because I, all right, so long story short, I used to be No, no, no long story. Dude, you're 29 years old saying I'm a freight broker and I've invested. No, I'm yeah. 27, whatever. You've used words like invest in business. You're unemployed, living off your girlfriend. Now, uh, I use stock options, but I made good money off stock options, but at the same time, I lost a lot of money because I get a little greedy from here and there. But it kind of helped out too. So it's kind of been like from stock options from there and home earning too. This cat don't even know what stock options means. 27 years old, you lazy, you, you're lazy. You invested all your money and you, don't, you ain't had a job for a year, a year. You can work at McDonald's, you could do it. You're lazy, get your ass up, get your ass off the couch, get in the, get in the gym, get you a job, get you a job. You're lucky you still got a girlfriend. How much are you earning a month? Ooh, shit. Uh, about under a thousand. Depending on how then don't tell me a damn thing about stock options. N you need a job. Get off YouTube. Get off Instagram. Get off TikTok. Get off your ass and go to, f to work. Yes, sir. I so wish you, I w no, no, no. There ain't nothing else to say. And, I, and she must not have a daddy. Because if she had a daddy... No, she hadn't, he can't be about because he couldn't be around my damn daughter. I mean, I don't want that. Eh, I don't want to hear it. You wouldn't have shit to say to me. I'm, t I'm telling you right now. You wouldn't have a thing to say to me. Talking about being around my daughter and you ain't a job. You ain't had one in a year. Shit. I'm serious. And I live in a trendy neighborhood. I'm in You're full of shit. So what happened when the last time you went to the mall and you went and, talk, and, you went and approached a woman? What, tell me what happened the last time you went to a mall and approached a woman. Uh, no, I, they were always. I no, tell, me, tell me. I don't want to hear they are. Well, tell me the la what happened the last time you went to a mall and approached a woman. I've never done that. Thank you. So how the f do you know if they're all single? Because they're, they're the, all got relationships. Because the they're, they're with a guy. D all right, man. Book a session. I go to a mall. And every woman in there is with a guy. And every woman is married. This is why you need therapy. Trash okay. thinking. It's just, I don't know if it's thinking. It's just what I'm seeing. I just, I don't see available women. Okay, so this is the kind of guy that goes out to the lake to fish. And because he doesn't see any fish, he doesn't think there's any in the water. It's called confirmation bias.
And the reality is, even if, I, if there are women there, you don't have the confidence to approach them. And you're 36. So it's not the dating apps. It's you. And now what are you going to do about it, though? Because the world doesn't give men these kind of outs. You got to do something about it or you can whine, or you can keep, because this comes, this comes across to, to the world as complaining, belly aching, and bitching. Damn, Kevin, Kevin was really harsh with the dudes. I mean, for real. So I'm just saying, so ladies, and ladies that are watching this, and even dudes too, I hear so many people saying, oh, Kevin Samuels hated women. Kevin Samuels hated black women. But I'm telling you, every time I saw him, every time I saw men on his show, he was tougher on the men than he ever was on the women. He was always tough on the men, period. So I ain't trying to hear that about Kevin Samuels was this, he was that. Everything the man said was always about making the community better, making people better, getting up off their asses and being the best version of themselves. And that's why I like his message. So is your I'm daughter married? She is not, and I feel really bad about that. How does she have any children? She has one daughter. So, yeah. She has one daughter, and I feel bad because she's. Where's really, the child? And where's the child's father? He's nowhere in the picture. He just see, see this didn't is want to this, be around. okay. And this is what I need, ladies and audience, to hear. You may not like my approach, my delivery, but we can't like these results. We can't like these results. Young young mother ends up having a daughter who becomes a, a, a single mother. We can't like these. And when we say family in the black community, what family means now is a woman and kids. Right. When it used to mean a husband, a wife, and two or more children. Right. We got to start with the basics. Thanks for I being agree. honest, though. Appreciate it. I appreciate you. Thank you. I mean, I, I, there's nothing else really to say after that. His statement speaks for itself. That's it. And you said he was a good husband or he was a good provider. Provider. And you, che and you cheated on him. Okay. You're and throwing then, it in my face. Excuse me? <laughs> You're throwing it in my face. I'm, no, see, a funny thing is when, listen to what she just said, throwing it in her face. Ma'am, it's just what it is. So y'all don't have. But I feel like you're throwing it in my face. If you. Are you being serious? No, Kevin. You're supposed to act like she didn't cheat. You're supposed to act like she's not ratchet. You're supposed to act like she's not. You're supposed to act like she doesn't have multiple baby mamas. You're supposed to act like she doesn't have multiple baby daddies. You're supposed to act like she doesn't have multiple children from different baby daddies. So don't throw in her. So don't uh, throw it in her face, Kevin. I don't know you, lady. You're the one that cheated, not me. I'm, we're having, a, okay, and see, this is what I mean. 43 years old, financial diva. All right. Yeah. If you're this emotional and temperamental, good luck at all that. Because if, you better understand that the men you would deal with, they're going to know your background. And when you say you had yeah. a good husband, when you say you had a, a good provider husband, and you cheated on him, that's red flag to most people. Then you turn around and say, you had a baby out of wedlock, and then you married another man that we had abusive issues with. Why? That's too much shit going on with one woman. Why would a man with any sense want to deal with that? He wouldn't. He wouldn't. No man with any kind of sense would want to deal with it. So look, that's the video. A lot to talk about. Leave, drop them comments because I want to read them. If you liked the video, let me know. If you didn't like it, tell me why. And look, so I don't want to hear nothing else about Kevin Samuels always being too hard on the women, too hard on black women, because when you look at when you look at all his videos in their entirety, you will see that Kevin Samuels was very, very balanced. He came. In fact, I would even say he came harder at the men than he ever did at women, period. This is Richie Rich for Richie Rich Abroad. And don't forget, if you like this video, there are many other videos just like this one that you can check out. I'm out.